Hi, it's Amélie. Today, we're going to work on breathing. I'm going to show you a couple of exercises that will help you tremendously. People ask us about how to hide your breathing in a solo, but still fill up. So I have an exercise that's perfect for that. You put your metronome at 60. So like one second per click or one click per second. You pick a note, any note, okay? You breathe in two seconds, you blow two seconds. You breathe in two, you blow four. You breathe in two, you blow six. And you do jumps of two like that. Very often when my beginner students start, they do six to eight seconds. And uh, with time, some people get to 30 seconds, 45 seconds, even a minute, you know? When I'm really working well, I can get up to a minute if I play very, very softly. But for this exercise, it's not the point. The point is really to learn how to manage your air by taking enough in and counting how much you can do out. Okay, so I'll do it first. I'll do it on a D with a, a mezzo forte type of dynamic. So I breathe two seconds. and so on and so on. Once you're comfortable going by, by two, you can start doing it by three. So you still breathe in two seconds, but then you blow three, six, nine, 12, 15, but always take in for two seconds. So. Once you're comfortable with that, you can just increase and make jumps of four and jumps of five uh, because you don't want the exercise to be so long that you're bored. I'll do it by four. But like obviously you can work on jumps of two for maybe a month and then you're comfortable. You go by jumps of three for another month, you know. It's not... Um, I show them to you all one after the other today because it's a tutorial so you have the, the tools but... Um, it's a long-term thing. You can't just develop your lung capacity like that in one day. So by jumps of four, I'll do a second octave G. And so on and so on and then by five by six if you want you know you can really um, adapt as you get better at it okay obviously when you breathe in you want to have a good posture you want to have your shoulder blades down and together as much as possible and then when you breathe in they go a bit away from each other and you open your you open your chest everything opens the the um, Rib cage opens, you breathe in 3D, 
you can do an exercise where you breathe in as much as you can and you, you breathe out you play the softest note that you can almost like a phantom note you know it's almost not there and the goal of that is to do it as long as possible you can put your cell phone and just count how long you can last okay so i'll take my cell phone just one second here it is so i'll play a low e flat super soft and before i start i'll do hawaii so if you watched a previous video about how to breathe i talk about hawaii so ha you breathe in through your belly wa rib cage e the chest so it goes and always in 3D, so the back and the sides, not just the front. Sometimes we think we breathe in only from the front, but no, it goes... You see? I'm not pushing my shoulders up at all. My shoulders are just moving up because my lungs are getting bigger and everything's just pushing outwards, okay? My shoulders are always kind of standing there. I'm not doing this, okay? You shouldn't do this. Just let them be free on top of the shoulder blades you know they're just where they should be okay so now i'm gonna do that hawaii and start playing my very very soft note as long as i can i like to blow out first approximately 40 seconds usually I try to do it twice because the second time I get a better result usually so sometimes I get to a minute in that specific day it doesn't matter it's really an exercise uh, I've been confined for almost like uh, about a week and a half in my basement without going for walks after so maybe when I'll start moving around a bit more it was, it's gonna help but it's already very good the next exercise is to teach you how to manage your air in a phrase and take enough at the right time so you have some notes a flat g e g that you play twice and then a g e g and then b flat g e g again and b g e g again and you play uh, half notes and you play the same thing twice and then you breathe so i'll do it at 60 if it's too slow for you you can start at 80 and just go down and so it's going to teach you to manage your air not blow it all at once and then you don't have any more left and take enough so that you can do a whole phrase so start with what you can manage if it's faster it's faster and then you can even go slower than 60 you can get at 54 or 52 okay first time i'll show you the first way i practice it with my students usually we start at um, we play it piano the whole way through okay so i'll do it that way the first version
that's the first way to work on it. If you have never done that before, maybe once you're comfortable with that, you can add a crescendo and a decrescendo. Uh, this way it's another little challenge that you add in the air management. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. So that's it for the exercises. Make sure that when you breathe, you have a good posture, that you open everything, not just in the front, that really you open on the sides, in the back, that you put as much air as you can. Um, make sure that you don't push your shoulders up or down, that you just let them be. And also, there's no need to open the mouth a lot when you breathe in, because if you move your mouth a lot every time you breathe, then it's a little bit more time to go back and find your embouchure again. So no need to like that, just. You know, it's always better to, um, what's the most important is where the note starts. So you can cut the note just before the breathing a little bit so that you really start on the beat. Sometimes when we try to breathe too fast, we tend to close the, close the, um, the throat and then it's not as efficient. So stay open and calm it's funny but when you breathe in when you try to go too fast it's not as efficient just don't think about trying to be as fast as possible it's going to be more efficient and it doesn't really take more time it's really just a little psychological thing work on those exercises at your own pace i hope these will be very helpful for you if you like the video please like it if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and uh, you should go and check our website, musogy.com, where you'll find very interesting material. Thanks for watching.